What's up everybody, Brian Mann here, Hands On Auto Training. Uh, we're on our way to a call for a 2005 Pontiac Grand Prix that's supposed to have no transponder modulation. Um, that's a coded setting according to the customer. So in this instance, uh, the first thing I'm probably gonna do is grab my key tool max and uh, see if we can read a pass key three key. Guys, a uh, pass key three uh, system is a transponder system and then they went to the circle plus key which is still like a, a PK3 system, right? It's still a transponder style system. Uh, what you gotta realize is that different vehicles have different uh, uh, types of security systems. You know, GM in this era was using uh, the pass lock two system which is it's the Hall effect uh, sensor that's inside the ignition lock cylinder or the lock cylinder housing. And then they also had the uh, uh, passkey three system, which is a transponder style system. So I do believe this is a PK3 system. So we're gonna check and see if we have a output from the key, if we can read a key. And then we can also use the antenna of the key tool max and see if we can um, uh, you know, read the antenna, see if the exciter ring is actually working. So let's see what we come up with. All right, so here is the key for this vehicle. As you see here, it does have the uh, pass key three marking. I think you might be able to see it on the blade there, if I can get the focus. That's a pass key three. Let's go ahead and get the key tool max fired up here and see if we have a uh, reading off this key. I'm interested to see this. Now, the one thing I'll tell you is check out this big metal thing here. I don't think this would interfere with the reading of the key, but this is a pretty interesting metal uh, little key ring holder thing. Um, sometimes you'll see the cars with the bling bling setups on them put a ring right around the uh, key reader and it messes everything up. So we're gonna see if we can get in here and read this. This tool has been pretty good for me. Uh, I've learned a lot about it. Hit the home button here to get over here and we're gonna go to uh, read transponder. Click on that, put this here and it did read. Uh, we do have a reading off the key. I'm having trouble with my focus. There you go. So it did read a transponder ID. So the key's reading here. Let's go back to the vehicle and see what's up. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this key in here like this. I just want to see what it does. I haven't even turned ignition on yet. Usually you'll have this little guy up here reading issues. Starting disabled through the theft system. So we have no crank, no start, and uh, We're gonna go to ignition switch signal coil detection. And put it up here, and I might have to uh, see what happens. I'm hitting the button. I'm gonna have to put you guys down so I can turn the key on and off. And I don't think we're reading anything. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this little key ring, see if it makes a difference. Like that. Now let's try and put this back in. Yep, still starting, system is disabled. Let me go back up here and uh, I need more hands, guys. Put the camera down right here. Maybe you'll be able to watch what I do. But I'm just going to turn this off. I'm going to go to ignition switch coil detection, put the key in. Time to run. Should be able to pick up this coil here. We don't have anything. So at this point, I'm thinking we'll go ahead and check uh, where the fuses are for this thing. And maybe also we can pop this coil off and see if it's damaged. Um, if you look inside here, this ignition switch is pretty, or ignition lock cylinder is pretty wobbled out. I'm not sure what's happening there. I mean, this key is super loose. These things have a lot of issues. So, if this ring will pop off. This or not. Let's see. Oh, well, there's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. Pop that off. This is what's damaged here. We got a problem with our transponder ring. <laughs> How about that? That's not going to start and run. Uh, the coil's actually got an open circuit in it and it's not attached. 
So we get to charge them for a diagnostic here and be on our way. And guys, just want to take a look and show you. It looks like this, uh, according to this service information, the theft deterrent exciter module is part of the ignition lock cylinder. Uh, that very well may be. Um, I'm looking up to see if there's anything it says about programming. I believe all this stuff is uh, stored in the body control module. So we're going to look up, let's see, pass key. Pass key circuit, theft deterrent uh, programming. This is using all data, guys. Um, looks like they're talking about when you replace the body control module or when you replace the powertrain control module or the keys. Um, Passkey three keys, BCM or PCM. So this should be a plug and play unit if they get the lock cylinder coded to the vehicle. So guys, that was a pretty simple one. I can't complain about that. Pretty easy. We'll see what happens if they call me back if uh, they need any more help. You guys take it easy. Have a good day.